Hello, EDL655. This is the interpretation of Monica Martinez, uh, assignment number two for module four. This is her visual learning for the week on the material. So the first slide is in reference to the chapter six reading on Web 2.0 tools. In this slide, her first image shows the power of these Web 2.0 tools that bring people together to share and collaborate. The second image is the multitude of apps that are on the Web 2.0. And the next assignment was the lecture from Dr. Ward and Sandra about the three tendons of collaboration. In these, she felt that the images represented these three tendons of collaboration with open-mindedness, reserving judgment, and asking lots of questions. For her experimentation lecture, she felt that building a prototype involved experimenting, designing, and refining and evolving. For the reading, or I apologize, the garden in my apartment video by Britta Riley, TED Talks. Monica felt that the images represented the interdependence, that the window garden created this interdependence in the creation of a true collaboration, community, and culture, that the tree represented the potential of an idea to grow to one that impacts people around the world. With learning with technology by Trevor Owens, the English teacher, Monica felt that the editor chose a journey over a destination that he believed that technology was a catalyst for learning rather than a tool for production. Within this reading, she felt that there was four scaffolds. The first scaffold focused on the multimedia that provides the organization that most in its need. That each slide is a space to focus and demonstrate their learning so that it is a place in the right spot or slide. For scaffold two in the reading, she felt that when she read this, that language became mandible for editing and revision. Slides hold discrete information that they can more easily focus to make decisions for editing and revising the image and has overlapping faces. This made her think of the mandibility of the language that was discussed. For scaffold number three, multimedia presentation tools facilitate the ability for students to differentiate by color, font, size, and position. For scaffold number four, multimedia attraction for students and adults was different. For students, the engagement stemmed from the interactivity and the action of the presentation tool. And then the end results from the reading was that it wasn't the tool, it's the message. This enlightened Monica because she felt that this gave her more leverage to focus on the student's message and that the tool that they used to express was just a tool. I hope you enjoyed the interpretation of Monica's slides. Have a wonderful day.